Lycro with a classic Deagle. Who is Lecro without a Deagle? When he gets a Deagle, he becomes Lecro. He is Lecro. JW is dead. Lecro is looking for more. Perhaps he'll get more. He'll express himself through the arts that is shooting at Eagle. The art In form. people's faces. Puncturing faces. Some people have a pen, a quiver. Some people have a quill, rather, even. Not a quiver. Are you a face puncturer, Dan? Lecro has a deagle. Have you punctured some faces? I, d I don't tend to do that, no. Not, a, not really, though. Not really. No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Not about that life. Got he to punctures know. hymens. And there it is. Wow. Back to that you, That took a moment to register. <laughs> Did you just say that? That is the most heinous thing you've ever said. It probably is, yeah. So we've, re we've reached a new low. And from here, <laughs> we can only go up. God said looking to go up in the scoreboard by planting the bomb. Four players alive. Doppland with great positioning on the crawl space. Three players moving towards the CT area for the CTs. But can they get any kills? Oh. Doppland looking at two places at once. Almost getting caught out, but not quite. Lecro with another Deagle kill. Finally taken down. The... Oh, Crims, I thought he was holding a defuse, but he wasn't. And how could he in that situation? Fnatic, what will they opt for? So will be the force buy, of course. JW forcing it up as well. Everybody joining in. There will be no warpers in the buy round for Fnatic, it seems. Inspired by the one Lecro. We get the Deeks. Get the Deeks. Yanko, what is your opinion on Orpers joining in on the fourth buy? Like the impacts of not buying of your team in the fourth buy versus the impact of not having the AWP. Obviously, it might be map dependent, but do you have a strong opinion either way? I don't necessarily have a strong opinion, uh, but I guess I guess it depends on the player's preference and um, how how comfortable he is with playing with rifles. I think it's one of those situations where you should probably just buy a pistol and no armor. That way you will still have enough money for the AWP, but all it takes is for you to lose one round or not to win one round because you didn't have armor and you're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to buy armor every single time. Hey, one player left, Godson, and he is one Deagle shot away from death. But the Deagle may be the least of his worries as JW has collected an automatic rifle, an AK-47 in fact. Necro has an. Ooh, I was about to say he's got an HE, but no longer has he an HE. JW and Ultimeister will join forces towards Connector as they start to push on to Lecro's position. Going for the fake, wondering to see if there's anybody around CT. It's a spot on one. Some good damage done, but still two left alive. And they know where he is. Can they get the kill though? Can he become untradeable? Looks like he might become untradeable. Here is the first frag, Lecro clutching there. The second made for a trio of kills there. Lecro saves Godsent. But the damage has been done. Yep. A lot of mistakes in that round. First got sent for some reason, deciding to go connector where everything's close range against pistols. They get decimated, and then in a 1v3 situation, Fnatic just give Lecro the opportunity to pick them off instead of trying to warn him and not allow him to basically just securing the trade kill. and. Now Fnatic is on a fully co-op course, waiting for that first gun round to get things rolling. CT's in the fire, but it won't amount to much because they don't have much. The number is small, they won't amount to much. Easy wipeout for Godsend, methodical, calm. I wouldn't say cool, calm and collected, I hate that phrase. I just use different uh, words that begin with C, thing. James. You what? I, I just use different words that begin with C. I make it make up my own one. Okay. Do you have an example? Um, as you can say, calm, considered, and calculated. There you go. Boom. There we go. Marvelous. Three words with C. They all mean the same thing as the other three words with C. That are more commonly used for people without originality or a thesaurus at hand. I don't have one. A thesaurus by me. It's probably why you say cool, calm, and collected. Uh, but I need. I mix it up. I mix it up. Well, it's going to be two quick kills here for the 
side of Fnatic on the defense here. They're starting off well for them with their first proper buy round, but Trey comes in. This goes covering that avenue of attack. This is savage now. The CT is getting beaten out of position as Godsend are just trying to create space to plant the bomb. And in doing so, they in fact just win the round straight up. So, boom. Just a very, very brief round. Just hitting all of their shots, moving into the A side. I mean, this is what Godsend can do. Uh, from a position which they're in, they just go for an aggressive play, try and uh, force your way into the bomb site, and they manage to do exactly that. If they go try to go for some elaborate scheme, uh, mid control into a delayed split, I question their ability to have an coordinated execute. This way, they remove a lot of unknowns and they rely on their individual players to get those entry kills and secure the round. Nice anti-eco set up from Godsense. Twist inviting a close quarters engagement and Softland is there to take it away again. So far so good for the Godsense side. Off to a very good start on Mirage. Again, Godsense a team who have had many, many struggles, some of which uh, Schneider's been vocal about. You can see the frustration, you can hear it in his voice. But at some point, at some point, surely things will start to come together for the team, and that could be right now, as they head towards a 5-0 start on Fnatic. Yeah, Fnatic not enjoying the same success that they had against Ignatas, at least uh, not uh, uh, not yet. That said, they did get to start with the pistol victory against Ignatas. Obviously, that makes a big difference on the CT side. But rolling into the uh, the 5-0 situation, the sixth round for Fnatic, they're going to have all the money to play with. So. They would expect to find some success there. I do wonder if they will play passively or aggressively, just because it's it's a hard position to play aggression when you have you get reset immediately, right? When you don't really have a buffer to work with, it's it's very very hard to do that. And God, God they have all the confidence here, so it could be a, a great call to get something going aggressive, just to throw Gosen off in the early rounds. And Fnatic really tend to th uh, thrive as well when they're playing, you know, four v four or th three versus three or whatever it might be. I think Godsend will be expecting that. If I were Fnatic, I would just use my utility early to stop those aggressive pushes. As we see, almost like catching Flasha, he's forced to push because of the incendiary. Almost catching a kill there. He will pull the CTs away from the mid area as well. So maybe his team can move in the meantime. We've got Twist towards the chair and Lecro continues to frag towards the A site. He was uh, forced in there and look what it's caused for the Fnatic team. Likely to be a 6-0 unless Olaf Meister goes nuclear with that AWP. Flusher creeping around that smoke. Will he walk straight into Sandwich? Lecro's got to be careful. Lots it moving slowly, ever so slowly towards the B bomb site, and they'll start to speed up now. But he's got two kills, he's made it winnable. Olaf Meister, position unknown. Pronax readying to hold the shot down, but no. Olaf wow. Meister will indeed emerge from the ether and finish off the round. Flusher put him in a great spot to succeed, and Olaf Meister capitalized on the rest. Yeah, that plan, I mean, I guess they just did not anticipate Olaf Meister to be so fast. I would have loved to have seen the. Uh the second frag, second last frag from Olaf Meister, just to see how quick that was, because it seemed like he probably jumped out the, uh, jumped into the the uh, vision and just probably no scoped the guy in the face. It was a very fast shot. So great indiv individual play to get back, but the question is, Lecro, he was just allowed to walk in there and just continue to just kill people one versus one. Like he, he basically got three one v ones. He basically won all the one v ones. It's insane. Just very poor play from Fnatic. To, to allow that to happen, basically. And then Godsend gifts them the round with some poor play of their own after they had the advantage. But it's a weird spot for the plant, that's for sure. It's like, why? There's no reason to yeah. do that. Very strange stuff. Well, Pat, we'll have to see how much Fnatic can gain from this situation. Godson has given them an in have given them an inch. Let's see if Fnatic are able to take the mile or whether it will be a reset scenario. Still uh, nothing happening as far as the fragging is going, but the positioning is there for Godson. They've gotten forward players on middle. They've
but a guy in Palace did Disco Doplands looking for the rotation, perhaps out of window into jungle. Very common rotation. Nice catch there, shoulder by JW. And that's a good way to start things off. The utility is starting to run low, though. Doesn't have to make a decision. The bomb is still down in B abs. At the same time, Necro is, I think, trying to make something happen there. You on the riff. Godsent have let Fnatic back into the game, just as Fnatic did in the previous map of Inferno. 33 seconds left, the bomb waiting around. Twist going for wild jewels at top mid, and that's not going to work out for him. And teams of dominoes will fall one by one. The bomb is now on a solo mission as Dockland could not be further away, quite literally. Could not be further away. Nice shot on Crims, but that is... Uh, even less than a consolation at this point. Nothing doing for Godsent in round seven. If this gets that kill, maybe they can make something happen, but without it, they just don't have enough time to react to gain entry into a bomb site and get picked off. That's why Godsent, that's why the only way they're going to basically have a chance here is they if they try and do what they have done in the first gun round and after that just be aggressive from the beginning as a unit so that they can get the trade kill it seems this is going to be the new trend on mirage now and i like it yeah it's really cool the the mind games uh, with that is, is very interesting because in some regard as well you kind of want to throw the smoke just to burn the model the incendiary that's that's also an argument that you could have that it actually you know can benefit the T's to just create that situation anyway. So it is an in interesting dynamic. I look forward to seeing it evolve. Push behind smoke. Contact play. Well, Dennis with the spray and all of my Saket is going to be able to get one. In they go into Dennis. And you will not be able to do too much there. It seems to taken down immediately by Schneider. Mice is still keeping himself alive with the AWP though, looking to make some plays with the AWP of his. And the rotation is quickly arriving. Four versus three in favor of the blue team, the CT side that is Fnatic. Nice shot there by Disco Dotplan. But there's more where that came from. Crims is making his way up short as well. How do they get in? Oh, just a pixel spotted there by Disco Dotplan. And he will shoot it off quite swiftly as Crims has found the final distraction that he can make his way in with. And that's going to be Olaf Meister also trying to do the same. The time is of the essence, but both players will be unable to make their play successful. A 6-2 scoreline for Godson, a very timely round win, once again putting Fnatic into bad ways. And again, grouping up is the name of the game for them. Also against double op, makes sense. You can overwhelm the opper not allowing to pick you off one by one and again it's difficult to retake with the AWP as well so I would expect more of the same from Godsend. It's a tricky situation where ideally you would switch it up, you would do something else, you would slow it down and, and spread uh, spread out around the map. The problem is I just don't think Godsend is capable of executing that style properly so if that's indeed the case there's no point in changing anything just go with what gives you the highest chance of winning the round even though you've done it before and Deco time for the Godsent team racking up the rounds on their T side <coughs> got the molly push as well that's always important Crim's in a ninja spot and that is spotable from Sandwich Pronax knows his ankles that's pretty important Knows the teammates as well. Olaf Meister with a long range kill. The bursts from the CZ. Dennis finding some kills in the underpass at the same time. So there are weapons to collect now for the Fnatic team. And I don't know if they will uh, want to save these weapons or try and go for it. Two versus three. I think they'll be in there. But maybe that puts an end to things. Dennis will think otherwise of this situation. But he's in an awkward spot. I think we'll have to make the most of it by standing there and trying to catch the T's off guard, but Twist will have the superior angle and take it 7-2. to two. So Fnatic, they are, what, 7-2 and two in the league right now? 
Gosen looking to make it seven and three. If they're able to continue in the, these ways, I mean, all they really need to do is to win a couple more rounds on this T side, and there's lots of space to do that, and they're going to have a really sick position to try to close the game with. And that's already a nice pickoff, just a fast push into the A side. Fnatic have not been great at defending these so far, but that said, now, this time, three very fast frags. I think JW actually got a, a double there from the AWP. Great work from him. The refragging will come in, though, as Pronex and Lack Electro make themselves known. Electro caught by JW, a third for him. Pronax as well, caught by JW. JW going off in this round. Ready Big plays. Ready for Pronax's shenanigans around the smoke, trying to make his way into the site. Not quite going to work out. You, you used to see that smoke, um, I mean, Pronax just did an underhand throw, but on a ramp, people would throw a smoke off the wall, which goes between Tetris and the shadow area. And then you could jump on the, on the bricks next to shadow to try and get a pick on somebody who was towards A, but you could also do the same and look towards connector. So it, it was a dangerous smoke to deal with from a CT perspective, but you don't see it so much these days. Maybe, maybe it will come back into fashion just as the high explosive grenade has. Molotovs won't be fast enough to stop Schneider from coming out, but JW is going to pick off Softland. Traded from Twist. Trades continue. Bomb on the floor. And there's a numbers advantage. Oh, no, there isn't anymore. As I say that, it comes back to the CT side. Dennis making it even better. Twist walking with the grenades to deploy towards CT. Not ready for Flash's position. That's a brief round and Fnatic now on the comeback trail. And they've broken the money of God sense. Yeah, this is the perfect time, the perfect time to get things going for yourself as Fnatic. They can stop Godsend from having the half they need. Because I think I really feel like Godsend still need like nine, ten <coughs> rounds to be honest to have a solid chance against uh, to close the game against Fnatic. And uh, but it's not over yet in this round. Godsend have the Eagles. They're going to rush into the B bomb side. The lack of utility though is definitely a big problem. Olaf Meister though, he's not in the best spot here. He's gonna have to spin around. My God, he made a great situation of that from a bad one. Could easily see him not getting anything there, but he will get to. He's Olaf Meister after all. Seven to five then for God's centers. They concede around whilst they're on a deagle by. AK's back out again though. And we have the AWP on JW. Wonder where he's going to go this round. He's going towards B. He's going towards Catwalk. He fancies himself some Catwalk action. The T's are moving pretty quickly though. Schneider does it. JW realize he's gone past the angle. He's not ready for this. The collision! <laughs> he almost got that as well. Could have been ended up in a suicide, perhaps. Depending on how things have gone. But, but it, there's a minute 30 on the clock. Godson have got one player alive. And the only person who's died is JW and the bombs in T-spawn. So uh, this has not been a successful round for them. And perhaps their momentum has come to a screeching halt. Olaf Meister delivering the headshots onto Lecro and B, B apartments for the last kill there. Got sent on $3,000. Money still sucks. And Fnatic could even end up leading the half. It's got the half by, for the most part, the twist has gone all in. Spending his three thousand dollars, so he's going to have uh, twenty nine hundred. Should they lose this round, if they manage to plant the bomb, he can buy an AK. So otherwise, yeah, I don't know if that's a miscommunication or something, or if they've, or if they've just chosen to literally go one UMP for. Oh, they got the Mac ten now as well. So let's see if they can get uh, Lecro into the close quarters. Make use of that. He is leading the charge. There he is. Through the window. Olaf Meister takes him down over V's. And the rest are far behind. And mostly dead. So it seems there will be a run into the A site. Crims leaving it just down to Schneider. He's got the AK. But he's one versus four. And JW will finish him off. Seven to seven. After a great start from Godsend. Looks like it would be a dominant half. It's all tied up. That's the problem for them. They lack death on their T side and the CT side, basically. So once teams adjust, once they kind of wake up a little bit, start playing better individually, there's not much that Kotsen can really do to, to, to change the outcome. 
Just good old plan. He's waiting for the connect to push. But Flick comes in. He connects it, but it's through the lip there of the catwalk, and Flusher will get the headshot. Great pick off. Falls back into more passive positions. The worst thing if you're God sent. Using a player early like that. Fnatic can just play in their usual spots. Crims ever the stairs and connect the man for Fnatic ever still. Just as he was. Position from JWs. Hello. Pretty brutal. You consider as well that Flusher got the kill and then fell back. This means that JWs actually just pushed there by himself at this point at a later time. Ooh, Crims caught off guard though by Twist. Maybe that's the opening they need. We'll see how the rotations are in effect for Fnatic. Look at JW, so just poking in everywhere, trying to see what's going on. They could really do with maybe Olaf Meister going towards short now, because they're going to have no eyes on mid whatsoever. In fact, I think he's just holding an angle in case some T's go through the crawl space, but with 35 seconds left, I don't know what the likelihood of that is. As I say that, of course, Lecro has been boosted into the window and we are going there, but Olaf Meister is now going to have a look and see what's going on. JW can raise the alarm that it's going to be a B play. Does he pick up an AK here, or does he go close range and misses the shot? Oh, that's really awkward. Oh it's God. all collapsed here for the CT side. The frag's raining in for godsend, and it leaves Olof Meister alone. Such is life. It's the life of an Orpa. Why the fuck is wrong? Oh, my God. And there is the, there is the question. There's Not a lot the of things he could have done there. The knife would have worked. The most of the time, worked. the no-scope is landing. Most of the time. Oh, yeah, for no sure. No reason for him not to zoom, though. There's no way... Twist can turn fast enough to kill him. His position will be known regardless once he fires the shot. So I don't really see why. He could have also picked up the M4 on the ground by the time his op drops and the sound Q is made, he gets the kill and he can also continue spraying with the rifle while with the op you will obviously have the hawk time where he could get traded but in yeah. the end, 8 7 score still with aggressive push from God. Should have been 8 for Fnatic, it's, been, it's 8 for Godsent. Fnatic can make good of it though, they can make good of it as we get some raid boss here. Mother of Meister has been made the boss and he's got himself that Tech 9 armor, it's working out well. Okay, there's not even time to really commentate the rounds, everyone's dying here for Godsent. Lekro last man standing, an excellent person to wield the pistol, but. Bombs down now. I don't know if there's a kit for him in proximity to pick up to use to get the defuse, even if he did kill everybody, and that would take so much time. And Fnatic play it correctly. 8-8, eight, eight, they win the pistol. Fnatic has a great opportunity to uh, to start leading this map now. Start leading this map. We're going to see the force buy, though, from Godsent, so easier said than done, perhaps. Especially with two deagles on the go. Lecro has a deagle. All is well with the world as far as Godsen are concerned. We'll see if he can get himself some highlights. Surely there's a Lecro deagle video coming soon. Surely someone is on that. Lecro deags. I mean, you could make a pretty long video just on deagle kills from all the current residing deaglers in that Counter Strike. But Lecro in particular. Sometimes it's the uh, the only highlight of the match. JW creeping through the smoke. Nobody watching it. But indeed, the pistols are coming into play. Dennis and Flusher taken down. Bomb needs to be collected by the T's unless they can eliminate. Win by elimination. But I don't know where Lecro is now. Rotating in from the B bomb site. We'll hear some movement in mid and wonder what's going on. In fact, A has been abandoned completely. I think... Olaf Meister was on the way just in case there was an issue and the bomb had been found, but no. So there's opportunity for Lecro here. JW's only got 20 HP. So if he can position himself accordingly, Crim's jumping, giving the position away. He knows Crim's is there as well. And uh, perhaps he can get himself a one versus one on the site. There are big problems now. Lecro with the Deagle. 35 seconds. Crim's has to face. Well, he's got the bomb. And there it is Perfect. from Lecro. We said we'd probably get highlights, and that is no lead for Fnatic in this game just yet. Whenever you see Lecro, like if, if you're a Godsend player, you see, oh, it's, oh, it's Lecro alive against three, you know what? It's got Deagle. You're probably just smiling at that point, because you've seen it happen so many times. Just most ridiculous Deagle clutches from Lecro. That's why he has a reputation. That's why we build him up in this way. 
And that's a, it's a very nice save from Godsen, but it's not over just yet. There is a force buy out of Fnatic to try to remedy the situation, put the pressure back onto Godsen. And the bomb is by Pit. Looks like they'll likely push that. But there are CTs in very close proximity. So, oh, Flush is going to go in with the, the uh, smoke, actually. Really nice push from Flusher. It, he played the opportunity, and I think that's going to be a kill most of the time. But he's unfortunate because he's not only going to die, but the bomb is given away as well. That tells the CTs everything they need to know. The rotation comes in, but still the pistols are doing damage. Start to wonder if this uh, half will continue to be scrappy. Flash coming in, the dink from Crims, but no kill. And the threat is perhaps being neutralized. That said, Twist and Pronax. 30 HP between them. There is a HE on Dennis as well, but I don't know if we'll get a position to throw it. There's one gone. Two more to find. Open flash into the middle of the site. He's going to... Looks like he was going to rotate towards CT. They still had the time. And that's him dispatched of. Olaf Meister, where is he? That is the question for the CT side now. And again, they're going to be sweating bullets. A number of places to cover. Four entries, five entries into the A site. Only two CTs with which to cover it. 25 seconds for Olaf Meister. Will he check the sandwich position? That could be the GG play from Pronax. And indeed, it seems Olaf Meister will back up into the angle there. And that will be the round for Godsent. Double figures now for Godsent, the underdogs. Should be 11 as well. Very soon. I think uh, they need a full save here, and Dennis will pick up a Deagle. As good as he is with a Deagle, will we see any Lecro style plays? Aggression, aggression from Godsend though into middle. It's basically killing everybody, so this will be a very short lived round. Presum presumably, at least. When it comes in, finishes off Flusher. All of my has been discovered. He is <laughs> sniped by Pronox's USP in mid air. 11 to 8, Godsent, and the buy is back in for Fnatic. Can they stop Godsent here? I mean, it's uh, it's quite a hard hard match to read. Well, they need to start not losing 3-1. That would definitely help them. I think they're playing too recklessly at the moment. Initial grenades. Missing the mark there, otherwise the damage could have been colossal. Dennis facing the wall in case Flashbang comes in. He won't be the initial engager. You see that big orange laser from his teammate JW. And here comes Dennis in the push, catching Pronax with a grenade in his hand. But Doplan is covering Pronax. And that will be the superior Stratego in that scenario. Doplan going back to the angle, JW being taken down. And uh, got are in a really good spot now to take another round. Three kills for Doplan so far. Will he get greedy for more? Perhaps a CPL peak coming in. Holding short down for the time being. And Fnatic are left to uh, wander around the middle area. Yeah, taking all those 1v1s is a really big problem when, it, when stuff like this happens. I mean, Disco Doplan is, is a really nice aggressive AWPer. He's very strong. And he might just get his full kill. Oh, he gets the tag, actually. And for those wondering, Dreamy, Dreamy is Schneider. He is Schneider. He's not a, a new player 12 8 that just fell apart disco doffland just picking them apart and fanatic seeming a little bit one-dimensional at the moment on their t side well it's testament to what we've been talking about in the pre-game godsend is also going to play uh, aggressively on their ct side it's down to fanatic to uh, determine how they want to deal with it are they going to group up themselves are they just going to wait and, and try to win those fights? So far, Godsend has the upper hand as Fnatic sets up for the A smoke execute with the Tech 9. Fast play is indeed coming in for the T side, curving around the smoke, closing the distance on Twist. Crims allows his teammates to go down, waits for the reload, and secures the kill. But the bomb's on the floor. They really need this money, and the CTs don't want them to have it. Pronax charging in with the USP, but JW's managed to escape. 
The CTs may wait for the smokes. There was an opportunity to do more damage for JW, but it soon came and went. Round 13 for Godsen. What a win this would be. Yeah, it'd be really sick to, for them to pick something up. Against Fnatic as well. That's what were they? They, are th they were 3 9, well, 3 10, I guess. So they could go 4 10, I believe. Try to make themselves safe, safer against the potential relegations. Um, Another important thing is that Pronax is actually playing better individually. He's had some shocking performances lately, both online and on LAN. As we see Twist with an aggressive push into A app, yet again, aggressive play from Godsend gets them an early advantage, but Pronax being a bit reckless there, not realizing there's a gap in the smoke and Flasha manages to equalize the number, but Twist is still aggressive in the apartment area. Will he get the jump on Crims? In terms of performance, do you... Oh, that's awkward for Twist. Gonna fight to the death though. No other choice really, and he will prevail. Um, I'll ask my question in a minute because we've got two players on the ramp as well. And indeed, this is collapsing for Fnatic. Like an imploding star, the bomb's been left. So my question was, do you think Pronax's increased performance in this particular match is partly because of familiarity with the players and so on and uh, Fnatic's aggression? Uh, perhaps that he feels more comfortable predicting what's going to happen, but I don't, I don't think that has a, a major impact. Uh, to be honest, like maybe he just put more hours in or maybe he's focusing a bit more on, on his own game rather than just thinking of, of uh, what the team could do. But his performances were really, really subpar. Like even for an in-game leader, you know, you, you need to be able to carry your own weight and he wasn't even close to doing that. So a much needed improvement on that front. And as you can see, Godsend in a very strong position to actually upset Fnatic here and get the win on Mirage. Double up for Godsend, Disco Doplan is going to try to get aggressive in cat, uh, by Catwalk as well. And uh, perhaps Lecro heard some stepping there. I think they're moving. There was some stepping towards the stairs of underpass. Pronax will pick up the kill against Crims and fall back in a way. So a good start there on into the round, which could be the 15th round for Godson if they play their cards right with this advantage. And Fnatic have made some plays here into position on middle. And that's going to uh, yield a frag here for JW, taking down Twist. Now, what is the response from Godson? Do they just want to hold passively, try to get some more information, or do they want to go aggressive? Well, it's like aggression is uh, pretty Ooh. constant. Lecro almost baited for Pronax, who was holding an angle towards short, but as Lecro moves back, Pronax is no longer holding the angle. The boost comes in towards CPL, and now Pronax is dead. He was in the red already, so that's an unfortunate turn of events for Godson, and that puts Pronax in a man advantage. And that will increase. Now Schneider is going to get shot in the face by Flusher, so Fnatic not out of this just yet. Maybe they, they need their backs against the wall in order to raise their game against this Godsend side. Stop plan trying to uh, jostle into position, but he'll get taken down for free, giving the AWP to Fnatic as well, boost to their economy. Godsend, they've, got a lot of, they've got a lot of money in the bank with which to uh, mount some more defenses, and again, they only require two rounds. to both sides now. Looks like Doplan will be uh, seeking an entry in mid early. Very nice jump onto the uh, table support to make it more likely to get legged if he does get shot first. But both orbs will miss. Not making a play into the smoke denied though by Pronax. Oh, Pronax just basically stepping into the, ma the nade, the landmine. Looking over the smoke there and won't find anything just yet. Mid control for Fnatic. This could all plan. He's got to be really careful here. Obviously, he's going to be uh, quite aware that JW is holding angles. And to get into mid, he's going to need teammates to help him in, flash him, and so on. But they've decided instead to leave Schneider into connector. He's going to get Molotov out of position. And when that Molotov lands, he basically knew he was dead. He knew he was dead there. Two players checking the angle. And Fnatic have worked themselves quite the edge. Position on the map, as well as a five versus four. Fnatic should be very favored here to bring this to a close, but an equalizer from Disco Doplan could just change that. Twist having a push through Palace. Wolfmeister's around the corner on ramp of a UMP, and Twist, 
He should hear some running. That's the bomb spotted. Even if there's no uh, fatal engagement in either direction, he spotted the bomb, and that may encourage Olaf Meister to move forward. Doppelhand jumping around on the site. He's focusing towards connector. He could get taken down for free. Olaf Meister's positioning is key. He's getting info for his team. Sees a rotation from one player, and the bomb starts moving back in response. Twist taken down. He knows uh, Doppelhand is towards CT as well, so perhaps he's just won the round for his team. Meister, just pursuit. The pursuit is just ruthless as the bomb is eventually planted and the safe has to commence here for the godsend. And where are they left actually on money? They must be pretty low. Yeah, they are quite low, but they have enough to, with this, especially with two weapons saved, that they can do that to get the buys in. So, not the end of the line for them. It's they've got that big lead to work with, so they can take this patiently as Fnatic try to work themselves back into this match and deny their Swedish compatriots. I wonder if Twist being aggressive in apartments all the time is actually uh, Pronex's idea, knowing that how Fnatic likes to play in general, that they don't really have more than one player tops uh, in that area. So that's a good way for Godsen to you know, either get a kill early on or at least have a forward position for Twist where he can provide a lot of information for his team, which he did do in the previous round, but all of Meister Great game sense from him to realize the situation and just make the great individual plays. Got sent back on a goodbye, looking for a W. Doplan caught jumping down, but JW's not going to uh, take a risk and try and pick him off moving into connector. The support as well. And Pronax is going to start moving up mid. God sent will not be deterred by the, uh, being spotted in that situation. And with Pronex's position, that allows Schneider to have that really advantageous angle on the underpass. So this is a, this is a nice hold for the time being for Godsent. They've got everything covered. But does this make them weak somewhere? Twist has to deal with A alone, Ramp and Palace at the same time. And now Lofmeister has moved into a peaking position towards Palace. position for Schneider is quite dangerous. It actually falls off. I think the step would be hurt as well. Crimson is sitting below and it's set up in mid. It's so interesting to see how this will go. We get the split coming in. They've got to be very careful, these Godsen players. There's a double from Pronax. That is fantastic. Absolutely what they needed. And Danko was just talking about him having a, a better game, stepping up his performances. And that's such a needed one. A one for two. As Fnatic now, they have to try to clutch this two versus four with 40 seconds on the clock. And Olaf Meister will try to open things up by coming out of Palace, looking onto the bomb site. Flash goes in, but he gets caught by Disco Dot Plan. Is it all over here for Fnatic? In this round, it might be. There it is. Match points for Godsense. That is the ultimate mid setup you can go for. You basically have everything covered with, with off angles, uh, double peaks. What's interesting though is that Twist, who was the sole player on A, didn't hold a, Usually in that situation, he's playing super passive, or that player is being passive so he can just, you know, try and get a cheeky kill and then play for the retake. But he was aggressive towards A apps yet again, showing how still as they are at the moment. And another aggressive move from Twist gets one kill but gets traded immediately. This called Doplan getting caught off guard by Dennis. and. But Alex might get the entrance into the bomb site now. Two CTs lost already. This is a problem for Godsent. Pronax trapped in connector. He's going to get picked off as well. You see Lecro already 12.50 in the bank. And uh, oh, two shots from Schneider. He's actually made this winnable for himself. HE will hit the mark, but Flusher sees it coming. And he will be untouched by it. So indeed, Godsent will lose that round. And that's going to put him in a tough spot economically. Fnatic have an opportunity to get on that get on that comeback trail. Let's see if if uh, Godsent can close this one out, or if they'll be accused of choking. Those are the only two options these days. It took them a while, but they finally realized they need to speed things up on the T side. Godsend do decide to eco here. Fnatic can do damage. Oh dear, they've got two kills, but look at the potential that Godsend has now. Well, there's uh, no weapons. That's the, really the issue. Just the USPs. Against those Kevlars, doesn't really do that much. JW's working on his Eco Ace. Who doesn't like one of those? Eco 
aces. Twist. He's having a fun time. He's probably checking his emails. Maybe he's doing some swiping on Tinder. Who knows? But uh, he might be, might be all over for him soon in this round. Just gonna back away. See what he can get done. The optimal situation is to be able to steal a weapon away, but I don't see that being a likelihood for Twist. And he will be discovered finally. 15 to 12. Fnatic, one more. But three more required, of course, for overtime. The money for Godsent now allows a buy and an orb for this good op plan. Aggression? Is it on the cards once again? That's the question. Op plan's been going huge for Godsent in this game as well. 26 kills on him. Definitely uh, worth mentioning. See where he's headed. I think he was spotted already by Flusher. Looking for a jump on the barrels in the middle. Not seeing uh, Dopland drop the Molotov, but uh, right now I don't think he has the money for it anyway. Yeah. As we've seen uh, now, the first device now, JW, doing it in the window position. That window position would often get nullified at the beginning of rounds, so uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of that and then more dueling top mid. Make the T's work harder for their progress. Progress and access. Jack in the box, God sent twist, having a look and being punished for it. Now the push is on towards A. Pranax has got to be careful and watch out for these grenades. Yeah, this is a very tough situation and it uh, goes back to what Yanko was saying about pu putting the aggression in more quickly. That's a very important frag though. Lecro takes down the bomb planter and with a frag coming in from Schneider as well. There might be problems here as the bomb still has to be planted by the T's and that can force them out of position. But either way, they're still getting the kills here. Disco Doplan, he's, he's in a position where he's just deciding to go for the save. And how many rounds is it in a row now that Fnatic have won? Okay, so it's going to be the third one. So that's $2,400 for Godsend. They don't have a buy next round. It doesn't really make sense for them to force. Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? This good plan always good for the flicks on the AWP. See, so I think the question is, how much damage can Doplan do in the next round? Because that one is not going to be the most ideal for Godsent. It would be a surprising uh, win if they won th the match. Wouldn't be the first time such a scenario has happened, though, in CS. And he he'll make Fnatic spend a, a fair amount of money here as well. Although, uh, with the rounds left, I don't think that really matters anymore, in fairness. That is quite nice. All right. But it's not enough. Not enough, Mr. Doppelan. He's got a forward spawn to peak a ramp or connector. Doesn't see anything towards the ramp. And uh, he's not going to gamble through the flames towards connector either. So let's see. The story for Godsent really at this point is uh, Lecker of the AWP. I mean, Deagle. Might as well be the same. And Doppelan with the actual AWP. Those are the two game players for Godsent at the moment in this round. Fnatic taking it slow. They would like to identify where that AWP is. And either take it out or avoid it. I like how they're stacking with the AWPer. It's just a Deagle, Lecker alone by B, B bomb site. And that does allow players to try to bait for Discord or plan to get frags and so on and so forth. The AWP, has he, I think he's fired off at least. Yeah, he's fired one shot, so they would have heard where that came from. Pretty loud gun, an AWP. Interesting position from Twist. The, the issue really is, though, that I don't know that they'll find a situation where they can catch the bomb. Drone's working into window, wanting the smoke to clear. Good pick off from all of my set entry frag in, but the wide peak with the CZ gets the trade. And now they're going to go B, and that's only Lecro here, but this is what he does. 35 seconds left. This is going to be quite the rotation for the uh, CT side. And again, they've got an AK onto Twist as well now, so I wonder how much they want to commit to this. Twist getting taken down, and I think that's a save for Pronax if he can get to the AWP and uh, Schneider saving the AWP. That's a nice kill from Pronax. Pre-fire on Flusher, might have heard him. They can even double-peak Flusher. So what, what if they end up winning the round here? Dennis can't peek. He can't peek. So two AWPs likely to be saved by Godsent. Fnatic losing a lot of players pretty quickly in that round to the point where they couldn't even hunt. There was too much time on the bomb. There we go. There's one more chance for Godsent to take this in normal time 
Otherwise, you have to wonder about uh, Fnatic taking momentum into overtime and then taking a lead in overtime. I don't know if Fnatic have led once in this match. No, I don't think so. So the question is is whether Golson tried to take handle of mid. Uh, at least for me. Because Fnatic have been good at denying it, you know, Molotoving it and getting smokes in there, to basically denying any early kills there from Godsend and oh get the boost. Oh that's so fast from JW. That's a problem, that's a very big problem. Does he realize there's another player that he must and he does try to go for the shot there, the nades come in. So lucky not to die there, Letcro. Do Fnatic try to force their win? They have so much time they don't they don't have to commit to this. And I'm I'm glad for them that they don't commit to this. I think that would have been a, a rushing situation would be a bit needless. For me, that's a really weird boost from Dopland at that at that timing because yeah. he's essentially standing where people often jump peek and the Orpers will look to pick someone off who's jump peeking. So if if your Orpers head in that direction, then you're in trouble. But if it's uh, a rifle, then who knows? It's a gamble that didn't pay off. He also had an extra teammate on catwalk. He could have flashed before that jump. And there we go. The that ultimate detail from from Yanko. That would have been really sick to see that flash. Would have enjoyed that. So they have all the positioning they can ask for already. Connector moving into ladder room. Should they be looking for another peak? Molly in though, and it's gone past JW, so he's alright. Sean needs to get something out of this one kill. Second kill not going his way. And all of a sudden it's just two left here before God set. Pronax coming in from Biavs against four. Are oh, Fnatic going to seal this away? They're going to try to tie things up for the first time in this match on the 30th round. Pronax with one versus four. Ironically, he has to go for it and everyone's tagged, but I mean, he's just dying in the flames. I said it didn't really work out. I think he might have given up on that one, but uh, ironically, he had more of a chance than he thought because of how tagged the players were. And indeed we go to overtime and I have to wonder if Fnatic can take the lead. They've won almost all the recent rounds, just dropping the one that allows Gotham to get to match point in the first place. So at this point, do you favor Fnatic? Yeah, I think I think so. I think just generally like the more rounds that are played, the more likely Fnatic are to win against Gotham. That's kind of how I feel at least. What about you, Yanko? I favor Fnatic. I don't think they're going to lose three rounds anymore. And I don't think Watson's had enough death in general right now. Just aggressive moves are the only thing that's working for them. Come two players run a pass. Crims with the immediate headshot. Where's the follow up? We get a trade. And Disco Doplan will just be sitting there on catwalk waiting for the pushes. Fnatic playing into his hands. All up on A ramp. Lurking. Looking for an opening. Checking no one's pushing Palace. So it got sent uh, content for the time being. Start of overtime and they're off to an advantage. Flusher. And, well, Flusher spotted Twist in the smoke. Or realized that he was being he was in a collision, but it's Twist who gets the kill. Slow rounds now here on Mirage. Four versus two. JW moving towards short, scoped in. No one seeing him from A. Nobody on toll booth looking forwards to uh, looking over to short. Trying to identify where the CTs are now. Olaf Meister's made a uh, a sound and he's forced to speed up. Cannot take the duel with Twist in connector. JW missing the shot, and that will leave him exposed. So uh, after that momentum, it's Godsent getting the first round in overtime. Do the same or very similar aggressive setup on mid. So Fnatic go went back to what didn't really work out for them. Let's see if after that one round they will adjust again. 
Yeah, we really want to see them just going for more set pieces, playing more positionally here, because they keep going for these aim battles, and then, uh, as you say, like, it's just... Got some uh, very comfortable playing against that. That's how they want to play. And so you got to have that versatility to deny your opponent every now and again. That's one of the best ways to play. You figure out how a team and where their strengths are, and you play against them. JW does open things up towards Palace, though. Well, the fights are in a deep position towards the Catwalk area, and Fnatic are going to be 3v3 ultimately as Pronax does eliminate the wayward JW out of Palace, and the bomb is going to make its rotation towards A. So again, just a lot of players spread out at the moment between both teams, meaning that we're likely to see a bunch of 1v1s, it feels like, and this is the 1v1 that could mean the most. The bomb is there, and Pronax wins the fight. That's Flusher dropping the bomb, and there's 45 seconds left. All Godson has to do is just play passively and just, just, just create a, a situation where Fnatic have to make desperate moves because they have no time. Ooh, good catch from Crims, though. Thought that uh, Disco Doppler would have that. All to play for. 29 seconds. Pronax trying to cover the bomb. 20 HP. Can he get time on this side? Oh, he's missed a shot on Crims. He had half a second to do it. But Fnatic will win a desperate round, losing the bomb on ramp, but winning by elimination. This is getting pretty tight now. A block coming out for the CT side. Again, it is uh, three rounds per half now, $10,000. It's not five rounds anymore. So which team will take that thin lead? Again, Doplan not dropping the Molotov for the smoke yet. Maybe not aware of it just yet. KW off to a good start, taking the uh, right position towards Twist, continuing to just casually throw a grenade through the smoke towards Connector, and just make a nuisance of himself, trying to pull CTs in towards the A site perhaps, but indeed there are three, play p three people towards the mid area, or at least uh, Doplan is in jungle. Godsend expecting some presence from Fnatic, it seems, in the middle position, but now they're starting to gravitate towards A. Moving as a team now, top mid. It's a very weird game, it feels uh, it feels uh, as though to me. A lot of individual plays that make the difference. Chaos. And Prodax will catch all of Meister in the back. No trade available. And now he's looking for more in mid. Looking to see what else he can see. Not too much. Flush is just hiding there with the bomb. And here comes Pronax, will he check it? No, he will not check it. So chair position is good for Flush. He was waiting for that. And that's gonna maybe give a window of opportunity. Crims looking to entry or open things up and that is the bomb site shut down. What does Flusher do from this position? It looks really good for Godsen. I don't see them dropping this round here. They have two orbs and then four. They've got a good amount of nades as well. It's 15 seconds to plant here for Flusher. Stop plan in jungle. What angle is he holding there? Is it towards connector? It seems that way. Flusher, you've got seven seconds. You need to plant the bomb. Planting for default. They should hear it. All the CTs are pretty much here already. Gets the first one versus one. Grenades flying in, but Lycra appearing at CT just at the right time to give Godsend the lead moving into the second half. So the momentum from Fnatic starting to wither and wear in their T half of overtime, but now it's their turn to defend. Well then. Another opportunity for Godsend to close it out. Questionable decision making from Fnatic. They had a free kill at the beginning of the round, 5v4 situation, and instead of just grouping up and uh, utilizing that advantage, they allowed Godsend to pick them off and bring it back. That might be the deciding round, we'll see. There we go, GW ready for it, but will he serve somebody a nasty surprise? Indeed he will. Gap in the smoke and they almost line up for him, but he missed the shot it seems. Fights in the middle area and they are being shut down very quickly, got sent. Three versus two with over one minute 35 on the clock. Where do you go from here? 
It's like A probably uh, at this rate. I mean, Disco Doppling could try to entry with the AWP. The bomb is there as well. Oh, will they go for B, actually? Looks like he is backing off towards B. So, Alfmeister is just waiting there. He's going to be able to have a really good time just sitting on this at these angles. He has confidence his teammates have everything else covered. I think uh, there is a spot towards short, so he doesn't have to worry about that, I don't, I don't think. Or maybe that's not the case. JW can look short, oh, but now he's repositioned himself behind the vent as perhaps he's worried about connector at this point, getting flanked from there. So he's, and that's likely due to the fact that Crims took position now in Palace. So just moving the setup around ever so slightly, our Fnatic as they wait for Godsent. Godsent to throwing nades all over the place, trying to obscure their, what they're actually doing. And Disco Doppler has found himself into perhaps one of the best positions he could be in this kind of a spot. But there's 30 seconds left and he has to win the fight. Olaf is quick. Olaf has, can play the time here. He can play the rotation from his teammates. He doesn't have to die straight away. He's trying to bait out shots, trying to slow him down. They throw though very fast. The flick is there for JW. That's a good one. As Disco Doppland tries to save this situation. 10 seconds to go. Still playing the time off Fnatic, but they're not going to be able to do so. This might be very clutchable in it after all from Disco Doppland. He's got himself the plant just in the nick of time as we see Crims coming in the apartments. Disco Doppland waiting patiently. No idea. Oh, gets the catch though. Able to tag down Crims though. I think he realizes it pulls out the pistol. What does Crims do? He's got a flashbang. No idea where Disco Doppland is going to be right now. Big, big advantage for Disco Doppland. I think he spotted Crims there jumping and catches him in the air. Well played by Disco Doppland. Another match point opportunity for Godsen. Do they have it in them though to close this one out? That's the question. Fnatic can go all in in terms of buys this round because if they lose one, they're done. And indeed, it will be Dennis. Picking up the second AWP. Also a, uh, a dab hand with the sniper rifle. Interesting to see JW buy his own instead of getting a drop and giving an M4 to someone who doesn't have Kevlar because of it. Only a smoke. He will have to be careful with the grenades. Dennis having a look on his own towards the short position. No one able to support him. Flusher going down through the smoke and Godsend, they're in a good spot now. JW, surprisingly, the one to get the pick there. Again, he's naked. The bomb, that will be the bomb spotted as well. A bomb peeking towards Palace. Three versus four. Godsend not moving at the moment. And that might be a problem for them, having to go and retrieve that bomb. JW, is he expecting anybody towards CC? He's not. Pronex is just about getting the kill there. Snyder taken down in the meantime, and Crims has gone for a push. He knows that the teams have to come and collect the bomb, but he might be caught in no man's land. Doplan knows he's heavily tagged, but that is a very fast headshot from Doplan, leaving Olof Meister alone versus three. He knows where the bomb is, but it won't be enough. It's too late. God sent, take it in overtime. Finally, it's 19 to 16 of Fnatic.